I am not happy with my results. Good morning, baddies. I thought I would try something different today on this video, and I'm taking you guys to have breakfast with me, chill in my car, and just chit chat. I don't really like going to Dunkin' Donuts. I don't really like their stuff, just their sandwiches. Cause I feel like the girls here at my area, Dunkin' Donuts, they don't really know how to make coffee because they're Cuban. They don't really know how to, they just know colada and cortadito. They don't really be mixing a lot of stuff. But we're gonna try the frap. Hopefully it's good. I'm not a morning person, but I'm most definitely a breakfast person. I love a good breakfast. I love breakfast food. I'll have breakfast food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner all the time. I don't know why, I just love it. It feels nostalgic. It gives me good vibes. Hello, how can I help you? Hola. Hola. Un momento. Okay. Y un maple sugar bacon. Okay, algo más? Ya. Venga la ventana, gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Now, I got a sandwich because I'm hungry. How much was that sh $4.89. Let me park. Let me put it in park. I'm so hungry. Mmm. I usually order the maple bacon or the, the sourdough one. I really like their sandwiches, but the way they make their coffee is just not. Maybe it's my location or what? I don't know, girl. Do you guys like Dunkin' Donuts or are you a Starbs, Starbucks person? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Has bacon, Swiss cheese, eggs, croissant. The cheese not melted. Bacon is sweet. I love sweet bacon. And plus, it's pumpkin. It's very, very sweet. Depends who's making it. Cause whoever blended this, I can still taste the um, what's that? Like the 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 particle that they put in the blender. They didn't leave it blended all the way. As this time of year always goes by so fast because of all the holidays back to back we're already in september we're in the last quarter of the year so much stuff is happening every time this time of year flies by and i feel like i feel like when i was a kid a lot of the neighborhoods would like decorate and the neighbors would compete whose house was gonna look better i feel like people don't be doing that that much this this time as i got older i feel like like everyone doesn't decorate as much either people don't have time or they don't have money like times back then people would go all out for on their houses for decorations for halloween christmas i'm a christmas girl i love christmas christmas is like wh whoever doesn't like christmas you have a problem comment down below what's your favorite holiday because i just like i halloween's cool and everything and you know thanksgiving got that good food but christmas is just something that's in the air it's unexplainable i don't know what i'm gonna be for halloween this year like i have an idea but it's not something that you can go out and buy in the store like i would have to make it so i'm gonna have to like see how i do this if, if i make it come true if I, if I push through it would be iconic and I know it's spooky season, spooky, spooky season and everything, but I do not like, I do not enjoy scary movies. I'm not a scary movie person. I don't enjoy them. They scare the sh out of me, especially not alone. I'm not watching no scary movie alone. I know some people enjoy it. I don't know what is wrong with you that you guys like that. No, not me. Find somebody else to do it. Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Oh. I like Halloween movies like, you know, Casper. Halloween Town, The Haunted Mansion, or some like those kind of movies, you know? Cromwell clan over many generations. I've been using it to keep my eye on things. That are like Halloween spirit, but not like an exorcism. I don't know what scary movies that are like really bad. I don't know. Like you won't catch me going to that, um, what's that Disney thing for Halloween? The Horror Nights? Unusual. Hell no! For Christmas, I want to go to Disney because they'd be decorating the lights super pretty, the parade. I want to go. 
to Christmas to Disney for Christmas, but not for Halloween. I'm thinking of planning to do is maybe I think me and Adriana might take a trip to Oregon. It's not Portland, Oregon. It's like a, a little town in Oregon where they filmed Halloween Town. I think that will be so huge. <laughs> OMG, like a little weekend getaway. I don't think there's much to do in or uh, or I was gonna say Orlando in Oregon, but I think that would be okay. I've never been to Oregon, and I've seen it on TikTok that that they have this festival of where Halloween Town was filmed in that town. I think that would be so true. Such a cute getaway vlog. Cause in Miami is a very new city. We don't have that any historical Halloween stuff. We have like these little haunted, um, like little haunted, uh, like drive throughs you know, that you go through, but not like, um, like a horror nights here, but like not really. It's like not really. I like Salem is super famous, super historical. Like, imagine if we go to Salem, like, there must be so much history there. And I've never visited the United States, like the, what is that? The middle of the United States, like, you know, I've got, I'm, I'm from Miami. So I've gone to LA, I've gone to New York, and that's it. I've gone to Vegas, and that's it. I haven't gone to any other city in United States. Isn't that crazy? I think that will be definitely interesting for maybe just two or three days and come back. Cause I'm not a small town girl. And maybe take the Christmas trip for Disney Magic Kingdom AF. Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> Bright Line is like a train that takes you from Miami to Orlando. You don't even have to drive no more. Perfect. Perfect. But yeah, you guys, the holidays just hit different when you're a okay. kid. Like everything was just amplified. And now, you know, it's missing that spirit. I'm trying to get that spirit back. It just gets so busy. I feel like everything in the last quarter of the year, you have to do things in so much in advance because it flies by that fast and you feel like you don't have time for anything. What I really have been thinking about doing, you guys, is a podcast. Everybody and their mother has been getting on podcasts. It's the new flow. It's the new thing going on. Everyone's been doing one, so I might as well do one. And this has been, people been starting on podcasts like since 20. I feel like after the pandemic hit, it started, everyone started getting on podcasts. And I have a lot of opinions and things that I come across my head that I just feel like, I feel like I will be good on a podcast. I think I'm going to do my own podcast. Maybe I'll, I'll look for a co-host. Maybe I'll see how that works. I think that would be really interesting to sit down and talk about different topics going on different things my take on things my advice okay about working on one i just need to come up with a name like a cute name like a good name i don't know what name it would be i have to check like you also have to check like if you pick one if that is not taken that's another thing in other news baddies i am not happy with my chin lipo vlog the surgery vlog that i put up i mean i'm happy with the vlog i'm not happy with my chin results not what i was expecting it's not the final results that i wanted just not acceptable so they're gonna have to do it again and it better come out right the second time because it's just I, I, I couldn't believe it. I went to this doctor because it was recommended me to go to this. Someone recommended me to go to this doctor from someone that did the same procedure and she liked her procedure. I went thinking I was going to have the same results because they went, she went, they went to the same doctor. So I didn't get the same results. I don't know what happened, but they're going to have to do it again. And hopefully the second time it comes out the way that should have came out the first time. If not, we're just gonna keep going to until we get it right. So I just wanted to give that update. I am not happy with my results. We gonna get it right. So baddies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just uh, sit back and chit chat with me. Hope you had some snacks, caught up on some things. 
I never do these type of, I like these car videos. Very intimate, very chill, very laid back in my car, getting into some things. Like this video, comment down below your thoughts and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember baddies, we stay bad so they stay mad. Bye!